What's up friends? I know this looks really strange and uh, the setup looks really different and messy. Um, that's because I'm trying to edit my video and when I want to look at my intro, the volume, the audio, I'm sorry, um, it's completely gone. I have no idea what happened to it. It's just not there. So I'm kind of bummed because um, I was really excited and I'm going to show little clips here and you can see how excited I am to have gotten the box in early i was expecting to get it um a couple days later than it came in and i actually got it and opened it the same day that i got it which was yesterday i'm shooting this the next day and um the audio is just gone so i've been waiting for this box for months now i pre-ordered it way back when I unboxed my my first uh, unboxing here on the channel when I first started out here on YouTube which is not the long ago even but um yeah nonetheless I I'm a huge uh Peter Kenneth aka uh the Potter Collector here on YouTube I'm a huge fan of his and I absolutely love the wizarding trunk um as well so it was like a no-brainer to get it and um, I hope you enjoy my unboxing and a spoiler alert if you did not get your box yet and you want to be surprised by what you get when you open it, please do not watch this yet. Um, but by all means, please enjoy my reaction and see the magic that unfolds and everything like that. And um, I hope you really enjoy it as much as I do because uh, obviously Potterheads unite, right? And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, I have removed all of my pertinent information here so that you can't see anything that you need to see, but the box is still completely sealed as you can tell the tape is here. Um, but here's the keep collecting box. So it's it's got the keep collecting box thing on top of the front here so that you can tell that it is a special edition box. Um, the Potter Collector has come together with the Wizarding Trunk to do this special edition box here and on the sides here it says a magical post as it usually does on the um wizarding trunk box like it normally does on the outside and then um on this side here it says fragile delivery um fragile is fragile plus magical it's a term coined by peter kenneth himself um he uses it a lot on his channel and then the front here just says the wizarding trunk so um yeah i really just enjoy how they keep their packaging simple and they put most of their effort and everything like that into what's in the contents of their box so um without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into this we're gonna use uh my handy dandy bellatrix of the strange little opener here to cut open the tape on the sides Aloha Mora. Okay. And it just says keep collecting. Um, Peter Kenneth kind of says that a lot. That's really cute how they put some effort into the packaging. Um, right off the bat, we see a little letter. I'm going to make this easier by cutting off the top and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the top off so that you can just see everything right off the bat. You can see what you need to grab first. <coughs> I'm sorry. And we're going to start with this letter. It's this letter from Peter Kenneth, and it just says, um, Presenting your keep collecting box. The moment has finally arrived, but please remember to feed and water your owl before sending it on its journey. Speaking of journeys, the Wizarding Trunk and the Potter Collector began collaborating this box in February of 2020. Because we believe that character traits are of utmost importance, we sketched, planned, designed, selected colors, tested fabrics, and searched for the materials and makers to bring you a character trait filled box. It is filled it is wonderful to see ideas come to life. Character, character, character. What more can I say about character? It matters. When all else fades, only our character remains. Each practical, presentable, and perfectly polished item in this box represents a house and a trait for which that house is valued. Thank you to the Wizarding Trunk crew for their steadfast mission of quality, excellence, and integrity in every process and product. My grateful heart goes out to the creative and hilarious roundtable brainstorming crew 
of Tim, Andrew, Nicole, Michael, and Thomas. Kudos to Danny at Wizardry, Wizardry Workshop for his masterful skills in transforming concepts into graphic designs. And this resounding appreciation is for you. As Potter Collector community members, Wizarding Trunk subscribers, and fans of the Boy Wizard, you have modeled a contagious sense of patience, kindness, and excitement as you waited for this box. Keep collecting, Peter Kenneth. That is so, so awesome. How he like actually signed it. The paper is aged. There is just a... Uh, it's like it's typed in a really great font as well and I believe it looks like he hand signed it I mean it's just it's amazing you guys amazing okay, the next item is this envelope here and what's inside oh my this is so cool it's a library card okay it says, library card, student must be in possession of this card to borrow library books. And it has like gold foiling and green, red, and yellow, and blue for each of the house colors. And then it says, I just love the detailing. On the back part of it here, restricted section, access to the restricted section requires photo identification or professor note issued to expiration date validated by an IP is issuing professor, I think. Just the detailing, you can fill this out and this is like your own. That's so cool. And then you also have a hall pass, also foiled. That's so cool and you can fill it out. Oh, here's a close up of the library card so you can see just the detailing it's also on cardstock not like a flimsy paper you know super cool love that i'm gonna put this over here and then here's your hall pass look at that so it says issue to date professor reason gather missing supplies restroom break other and you have to specify with a detailed explanation additional notes and the back is just aged looking and plain but it's still really nice how it's like just aged like on ancient paper how it would be and i love the foiling i just it, it feels really nice not like just a flimsy paper you know there you go and then this is oh my gosh it's your schedule also foiled and it says this belongs the schedule belongs to and then you have your schedule you have charms divination oh my gosh transfiguration history herbology charms again potions free defense astronomy magical beasts ah, study group defense transfiguration i love this flying Oh my gosh, what does that say? Bring up dragon's hide gloves. Oh my gosh, yes. Does that mean you get dragon's hide gloves somewhere? Oh my god, chess club? Chess club, dueling club, practice. Oh my gosh, Quidditch practice. I thought that said chop club at first. Of course it says chess club. That is so cool how they scribble on it. Like as if you're actually filling in on your schedule notes. And then down here it just says, use at least three free periods for studying in the common room. Remember to reserve a table in the library for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 7.30 a.m. every week of term. And school village trip second saturday of every month love it breakfast lunch dinner library and quiet hours as well is posted on here this is so cool and then it has the um signature here at the bottom from your professor and it's also like really quality high quality and then the back here has like the insignia 
Love it so much. This is so cool to have and collect and then like, keep on your shelf. And even the envelope that it came in, it's like a quality envelope. It's not like a flimsy paper one, you know? It's just like a, a thicker, higher quality envelope, you know? Feels really good. Okay, what else? What else? We're going to go right into this, this pin right here. So this pin is... Ooh, I believe it's Dumbledore, but it's not really Dumbledore. Because if you're familiar with um, Peter Kenneth's, the way he dresses up, he has cosplayed as Dumbledore, and I think this is him. I love the quality of this pin as well. It's nice and heavy, and like just the way the um, front part of this I don't know if it's like resin or what, but it feels really, really good. Like high quality, the picture frame. I believe this is actually Peter Kenneth as Dumbledore, if I'm not mistaken. So super awesome. Um, definitely a really good quality pin. And it feels, it's just really good. Let me zoom in. Okay, and next we have another pin. Oh, this is a nice big one. And I believe this one is for Gryffindor. Because it, what it says, it's a chivalry. Yeah, it just says chivalry. And I think it represents House Gryffindor, of course. It's nice and big, and the back is just, um, yeah. But this one, it's, uh, oopsie. <laughs> um but this one it just says um chivalry and then it has like a printing of it on the back I, i'm gonna have a hard time removing this but um let's see if i can mm, i'm really bad at these so uh you just have to trust me hopefully you can kind of see like can you kind of see it like how it shows like a printing of it on the paper but basically um this is a pin for Gryffindor. It says chivalry and it's a nice heavy big sized pin. It's very nice. It's really big. I'm going to be really disappointed if this is the only thing that represents um, Gryffindor. Not going to lie though. Um, but we'll see. We have a lot of things still in this uh, box here. And let's open up this box. What is this? It's a uh, Ooh, I like to see bubble wrap, okay. Okay, let me toss this on the ground here. Okay, I'll cover that back up. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited because I have a feeling that this is a potion bottle and I love potion bottles. They're my absolute favorite thing about the wizarding trunk. They're really good at making these. So let's just pull this bad boy out and see what it is. Okay, yep, I already love this and this is probably going to be my favorite thing in the in this whole box because I love, um, yeah, I love these. Um, it says it's a witch strengthening potion and it's got a rose gold wax seal. This is, it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I love it. It's got blue and the shimmeries in it. Can you see that? And yeah with shimmering potion i mean with strengthening potion um for ravenclaw actually um yeah it has a little eagle on there for those of you who don't know actually a lot of people think ravenclaw is supposed to be a raven but it's actually an eagle it's supposed to be an eagle and that's what's there so love that and what does the ingredient say? Ginger root. Uh, what does that say? Armadillo bile. Oh, scarab beetles. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. And the size says potion use. Um, 
provides clarity to thoughts. Yeah. I absolutely love this potion bottle. I just, I absolutely love it. Um, my favorite color is blue. I'm part Ravenclaw, so I might be biased. Actually, I'm not biased. I just love potion bottles. And I love rose gold and blue. <laughs> but this is beautiful. I absolutely love that. So super awesome. I, I'm just blown away. Um, so moving to this next piece because we've seen it already. So let's go ahead and just take it out see what it is obviously it's Slytherin based on the packaging um, it's really amazing how they put so much detail in the packaging I'm a girl and a sucker for packaging I absolutely love when things are packaged nicely and they put effort into packaging um, it just has the Slytherin insignia um, the detailing and the snakes around it as well on the box on the outside of the box and stuff and I'm gonna mute this part oh my gosh okay hopefully you can hear me now because i don't like to record the foamy part but this is amazing it's the salazar slytherin chamber of secrets and it's a painting the detailing that they put into this you guys uh let me see if i can fix the lighting hold on Okay, we're back with more lighting, better lighting. I should have had that this way the whole time. Um, hopefully you can see better, but this piggy bank, just amazing. The quality that went into this piggy bank is absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't even, I mean, yeah. It's, there, there are no words other than this is an amazing piece to have if you collect um <clears throat> things that are harry potter wizarding world it's just amazing i'm showing you a close-up now of this potion bottle because the shimmer and the light will catch much much better as you can see before i clean this part up so let me show you this put that back and let's get this out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and also show you the pin you can see this too can you see that better but yeah, um, I'm going to be really disappointed if you put more effort into the Slytherin thing and then not that much effort into the Gryffindor pin, but it's fine. Totally fine. There's still a lot of stuff in here. And yeah, but this, this is amazing. The Slytherin thing. Awesome. Okay, moving on. Let's see what else is in here, shall we? Okay, there's another box in here. Let's do the green pouch though. What is this? green pouch i'm assuming slytherin because it's green but i'm not sure okay, i'm assuming this is slytherin we'll see uh what this is oh i think i know what this is this is just a velvet pouch by the way but okay yes this is a award for special services to the school and it just has the hogwarts oops the hogwarts uh what do you call it emblem on it and um, it's like a plaque so i believe this represents slytherin and it's just like a wood plaque it's actually like a, a like an actual plaque like that you would get and i think this is like what tom riddle gets when he gets that award for helping to figure out who opened the chamber of secrets actually um so hopefully that means there's another uh there's two things for every house that means um so yeah i think this represents slytherin actually so award for special services for the school this is like um raised actually um and it feels really nice it feels like actual wood and uh, it feels really good yeah like a hefty plaque um and it feels nice yeah i don't know really how to explain what it is or if it might scratch off but the H in itself feels like it feels like another piece of it on top of something, like on the wood, if that makes sense. But moving on, we're gonna go to this. Let's go to this box. Yeah, let's go to this box. What's in this box here? That looks really cool, and I think I know what it is. Based on the uh, thing, it looks like Quidditch balls. Like this is what's the what the Quidditch balls are in. That's really exciting. Um, 
based on the outside. I really love how the detailing went into the packaging. Like I said before, I love, love, love when they put details into packaging. So let's just open this up. Oh my gosh, what is this? It looks like bludgers. Are they bludgers? Is this a bludger? Wait, there's two. And there's like a little, is that a rubber band or something? There's like black little ring things under there. What does it do? Hold on. Okay. Okay. It feels like a metal ball. Does it open? No? It's like a metal heavy like ball. I don't like it just doesn't uh there's two of them. And there's these two little rings here, so if that makes sense. But it's just I'm gonna put this back in for now, but there's just like two of them. Two buttons. I guess they're for display. Maybe there's something, a paper that usually explains like what you do with them once I find what it is. And then, yeah. These are, these are cold gloves. Gloves. Um, they look like what you play Quidditch with. What you would play Quidditch with. Um, and it's looks really cool. And it feels really nice. Soft on the inside. I really like them. It looks cool. I don't think I would ever use them, but they're still really cool to have. They are dragon hide gloves and they feel really cool. Good quality and like the outside feels like actual like the reptile type material. And then the inside, if you can see that, it's like soft and lined and it feels, it, it just feels good. And um, the quality feels nice. Like it feels kind of like leather-ish, you know, like pleather. I don't know how to explain material very good but it, it's, it feels like good quality gloves and while I might not use them like for anything practical they're still really cool to have so let's just see what else we have here we have oh this is so cool oh my god this must be like the sword of Gryffindor for sure this has to be the sword of Gryffindor this is so cool how do I oh my gosh this is God. This is Godric Gryffindor sword. This is so cool, you guys. The, it just feels so good. This must be a pen or something. Like, how do I even? How do I even do this? What on earth? Like, I'm twisting. It must do something. Like, it can't just be like a standalone thing. Like, I'm twisting it. Right. Like, it's got to do something. It can't just be, like, a sword. But I think I'm doing it wrong. Twist, twist. And I think I just broke it. Yep, I broke it. Okay, that's the wrong way. Okay, you guys, I figured out how to use the pen. So here we are back to demonstrate how this works i know it's deceiving because there is a little uh hole there at the bottom as if it does screw open but it doesn't um it's actually a cover so the initial undoing of the cap if you will is going to be very difficult um they did let everyone know that they made it that way so that it wouldn't accidentally fall off but um once you do pull it off um it's going to take quite a bit of tugging, but it does come off. It pulls off like so, and there you have your pen, and that's your cap, just like that. And let's demonstrate here. Keep. Collecting. Will it fit? Yeah. Okay. Ta-da! So the penning, the penning, the ink is pretty good. I'm sure the more you like scribble about, it'll get better. I mean, the ink will come out easier, of course, but that is how it is. And um, there is some friction on the cap so that it doesn't just pop off really easily. Um, also, if you can see how there's ridges there, 
if my camera would focus there you go so it will stay on pretty good again the the detailing on this pen though they just did an excellent job at really okay come on so the detailing on this Gryffindor, the sort of Gryffindor pen, is just amazing. They put the gem there, you can see the actual Gryffin there as well. They just did such an excellent job at really putting in the detail. And it's a hefty pen, like it's a heavy, not like super heavy, but it is on the heavier side you know that this is a quality pen um i don't know why i'm blanking out on the word it makes me think of that fancy pen that you get like it's like one of those 20 dollar pens that you get in a fancy case i don't know why i can't figure out what the word is um but you know one of those pens the bougie pens um but it's really amazing so moving on moving on maybe it's not even a pen maybe it's like a fake pen uh here you can see the detailing of the pen and like uh just like how much detail went into it and then you can see how like heavy duty it is too really awesome and then we have this right here which looks like stationary oops which looks like stationary and I believe you get one for every house so this is Slytherin yep and then you have Hufflepuff and then you have Gryffindor and then you have Ravenclaw super cute and then it comes with envelopes also and then these envelopes feel really good too they're like good quality they feel thick not like cheapy envelopes you know what I mean uh, of course we have the paper here explaining what's in our box let me move this I'll be back. Okay, so we have every item of this box represents a house, and we have the lion house here. So we have this is definitely the sword pen representing Gryffindor. And then we have the pin, the chival medal of chivalry pin here as well, representing the trait of chivalry. And did I say that the sword is bravery? So this is a pen. Once I figure out how to use it, I have no idea how to use it yet. Um, once I figure out how to use it, uh, I don't know, maybe you can just use it as a sword fight pen. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm not a real Gryffindor after all. I'm actually only pure Ravenclaw, I guess. Um, although as a Ravenclaw, I should be able to figure out how to use a pen, don't you think? But anyway, I'll figure it out somehow. I will. Mm -hmm. I twisted it. Maybe I'm just have a defective pen. Okay, moving on. The pin here is really nice, but it's not my favorite thing. But it does represent chivalry, which of course is pure Gryffindor, right? It's it is pure Gryffindor. Um and yeah, and then we have House Badger, which is of course um Hufflepuff, and we have the Dragonhide gloves, which represents hard work. Um, which is what Hufflepuffs are known for, of course, hard work. And this is what they use to help with their magical beasts and poisonous plants, things like that. Um, I really do like the feel of the gloves and I don't know what I would use them for other than display. I'll figure out a use for them eventually maybe, um, although they're, they might be too nice for me to actually use them. But I do really like them as a collectible item. Um, the other item we have here is the badging ball. Boating, bowding balls. 
Badgers display patience, and this is the trait of patience. And so these are um, improve your focus. So they resemble the mischievous iron sports of the wizarding sport. So they're they're like exactly like I said, like Quidditch balls. They're it just says like the bouting sport, wizarding sport. So they are for display. Um, once I figure out how to open this again, and you just I think like I thought you could use them like this, like you know for patience, like because there are Chinese balls that you use like this, but I don't think that's really how you use them. Um, but other than that, you use them as display, like you use these little. Um, it just says you. Yeah, it just says you focus. Like these are supposed to be like blutters, basically. Um. Yeah. Which is fine. So you use these like rubber band things. If I can get this other one out here. Uh, come on. May fast forward. Okay, and you just put it down like this to help display it. And I love how Peter kind of took the, like, the thought of it to put that there so that these would be easy to put on display on your shelf and it won't roll away. I think that's really important and key for anyone who does collect items and puts them on display, especially like on their shelves. Um, I really love and appreciate that he he thought about those things um, because that, that makes a huge difference. Like we don't want any balls like just rolling all over the place, right? Um, and then you can put like the box like right, right behind it on display. Um, so I really love that he thought about that. That that's really I love. Um, that's really nice touch. Um, moving on to the Eagle House, which is Ravenclaw. We have school documents, which um, were the hall pass items, and then we have this wit strengthening potion, which is the four wit, of course, which I really like. So the school documents are over here somewhere. Um, which is for wisdom and that was for Ravenclaw so we have the hall pass and the library card and your schedule those are really nice items for display and then of course this is the strengthening potion one of my favorite items of all um, really awesome I love 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 this super good um, item I, one of my favorites ever um, honestly and then of course the Serpent House or Slytherin. We have the Service Award, which represents um, ambition. Um, this is definitely, we've seen this in the movies even. And then we also have the Coin Bank, which represents resourcefulness. Um, one of my favorite items really put a lot of effort and he really put a lot of effort and um, I really love like just the detailing that went into this um, and then of course the pin he did he did represent um, the houses in the greeting cards and the headmaster pin and it did it does say here that he um, it is him in this picture he dropped a little hint that it is him actually so I love that as well super awesome um, and at, of course the end here says keep collecting his key phrase so I absolutely love that. I love that this paper is aged as well to keep in theme. One of my favorite items. And one of my favorite things is that they put a lot of effort into their boxes. So top three items, you guys, at the end of the day is going to have to be, for me, this uh, Slytherin, Salazar Slytherin Chamber of Secrets um, piggy bank. For sure. Just the detailing that went into this. It's amazing. The quality as well. I love it. Um, and the, as a display piece, it's awesome as well. And of course, um, potion bottle here. This um, witch strengthening potion for Ravenclaw. I absolutely love it. Um, not only do I love, I just love the potion bottles, period. But um, I'm also, I love blue and I love rose gold. And I'm also part Ravenclaw, so... There's that, but even if I wasn't, it's just I love the potion bottle. Period. Um, and definitely the sort of Gryffindor pen. 
I just, I really do love it. You would definitely win any pen wars that you play if you're into pen warring, you know? Ding, ding. Anyways. <laughs> but yes, um, if you can get your hands on the Keep Collecting box, I know Peter Kenneth was mentioning that there is a way to snag it. Um, if you go and visit his channel, I will go ahead and link it down below. Um, you have to go and watch his video to figure out how to snag a box if you weren't able to get one before. I know he was mentioning that there is a way to get your hands on one. So go ahead and um, watch his video to figure out how you can snag a box because this is totally worth it. He, he really put a lot of effort into representing each house and their qualities, their traits. If, um, I'm sorry, their traits of each house. So I really do enjoy that he put the effort into that and made this box unique in that way. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, I really enjoy this box, you guys. I might be missing something from this uh, picture here. Am I? Oh, yes. Not picked, not displayed here are these the stationaries. Guys, my bad. <laughs> there you go. But anyways, nonetheless, those are my favorite items from the box. <clears throat> the piggy bank, the pen, and the potion bottle. Super awesome. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Please go ahead and smash the like button and comment down below to let me know what your favorite items was um, from this unboxing video. And yeah, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. I do other reading, um, other videos here on my channel as well. And yeah, I would appreciate seeing you here next time. So um, I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.